All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shabbat, Hashem, Rakakodash, the bonus of the apostle, and others a great millstone. And Shalom, to the Akimah, the preaching word of sincerity and the truth. Uh, you see the title of the lesson, Stay Focused on the Mission at Hand. You know, um, and this knowledge of Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shabbat, we're on a mission, man. We're on a serious uh, mission. You know, this is uh, a requirement, it's not an option. The Lord required us to do this work, and He required us to finish this task. You know, um, until the end, as it is written, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. You know, and um, this is just a motivation, just a, a exhortation for brothers in, in the spirit of your Habba Shema Shah to keep pushing forward, stay focused on the mission. You know, uh, don't deviate, don't sidetrack. Uh, do what the Lord uh, uh, intelled you, you to do. Follow the blueprint. You know, uh, you got brothers that were uh, previously in the military. You know, we're all familiar with the military style of life. Um, you know, your um, general or your leader of your specific squadron, um, they give you a specific task due to your obligation that you have to uh, under undergo. And um, you can't, you know, basically choose. You don't have the option of choosing what you... you um, want to do whatever is thrown upon your table you have to take it and you have to accomplish whatever feat whether it's easy whether it's moderately um hard moderately easy or extremely difficult and it's the same thing in the spirit of your how you know we're on a mission and we have to be mission oriented mission focused so that we can um accomplish that mission you know um and it's all boots on the ground. You know, this isn't a time to take breaks, uh, fall, fall from distractions, and uh, go MIA, AWOL, you know, falling in, into the enemy's uh, traps. You know, because whenever you do those things, what happens? You basically deliberately abort in your mission. And this thing is serious, man. This is deadly serious. And this is required for our souls. This is required for the truth. This is required for the elect, the brotherhood. So I have this uh, term on the mission focus or mission oriented. It says what it means to be mission oriented. Most workplaces have an explicit or implicit mission statement that is used to guide the company in a successful direction. Right. And we're on the direction and the path to the uh, kingdom of heaven. And the Lord gave us a certain guideline words that are inscribed in these writings for us to follow and get pushed towards the right direction. It says it orients employees and provides an overall focus. The same is true for the military and its personnel, right? And the word focus, when you look it up, it goes into fuego, which means hot. You know, so you should be focused on the kingdom of heaven and you should be hot for the kingdom of heaven. The scriptures speak about lukewarm, you know. Either, you, either you're um, serious and you, you desire the kingdom of heaven or you don't. And if you do desire the kingdom of heaven, you desire righteousness and all the things that until the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema Shah, then then do that which is required. You know, none less. The scripture says in Ecclesiastes, whatever whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do with all thy might. You know, and we have the might, we have the strength. It's a lot of brothers in in their, in their youths, as it is written in Proverbs twenty twenty nine, the young man um uh strength is his youth, you know, and the old man is his gray hairs or his wisdom. So us brothers have a, a immense amount of energy, you know, we have um, time, so to speak. You can make time, you know, there's enough time at any time of the day, you know, to um, whether study, whether uh, pray, you know, whether uh, read, you know, do a lesson. You could you could put out some type of, you could exhort some type of energy towards your Habayi Shema Shah to show that you're serious and showing that you're focused on the path. You know, this thing is not about being slumped and slouchy. And always, you know, I always quote the, the uh, ancient prophets in their lifestyle. They were very, very serious and adamant with the faith that they were involved in. The, the faith of Yahweh Shem Shah. Of course, starting off with Yahweh Shah. You know, the disciples, the prophets, the kings, the, the noblemen, the, the judges, the priests. Those men was, wasn't... Um, Slackers, you know, you see how serious they were, and you see how zealous and, and eager and aggressive.
they were in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah. And if the Lord gave them commandments to do something, they did it on point. All right. They didn't uh, put their own details in the writings. You know, they didn't um, sidetrack. They did which was required. And uh, the ones that actually did sidetrack, what happened? The Lord just put them to death. You know, so this is Matthew 6 and 22. It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Right, and, and the the eye that it's talking about is basically your third eye. Your third eye is, is supposed to be, you know, according to um, individuals, that's the, the eye of mysticism. That's the eye of awakening. That's the eye of focus, you know. So, the Lord opened our eye. And he anointed our eyes so that we could see clearly as it is written in Revelations. Anoint thy eyes with eyes of, so that thou mayest see. He He anointed our eyes fully so that we have full visual clarity. And we see where the kingdom of heaven is. And it's about us progressing and staying motivated. Alright? Staying on the mission. Because a lot of men get distracted. A lot of men get thrown and tugged off that track. That's where the word distract goes back to. This is to take away and track, to take away from the track, all right? So if they're going off the track, then where are they going? They're basically going into a ditch, you know? They're going into a direction that they don't even know the, the uh, ladder into. they just pushing and moving blindly. The scripture says, as it is written, um, the blind lead of the bond, when the blind leaves the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. But we have eyes to see. And we follow that light, which is the light is Yahweh Bashim Shah. And we follow the, 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 the Lord's voice as it is written, my sheep hear my voice and the light. And we follow it to the kingdom of heaven. If we continue to follow and stay upon the trains or the trails of the Lord, then we'll make it unto the end. But it says in 23, but if thine eye be evil, which the word evil goes into bad times. If your eyes, it's always basically, uh, um, you know, lusting. Alert by the attractions of this world, whether it's money, cars, clothes, hoes, you know, as the saying goes, uh, shoes, fashion, sports, you know, you have these hobbies, you have things that you involve yourself, but basically being a material, materialistic uh, uh, man, all right, which in turn makes you really a woman. And the scripture says that um, none of the effem feminists shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know, it's about the things that, that's not material, the things that's spiritual. All right, and if you fully focused on those things, then you start to do what? Covet. You you start to steal. You start to break the commandments of the Lord. Lust, you know, because you're starting. And the Lord, what? He gets jealous. The Lord said that He's a jealous power. All right, so you you be fully focus it on Him, and it says, "If thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness." If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that dark darkness? Right. So if your eye be evil, or if your your mentality is not focused upon that which is righteous and, and concerned with more evil things, you have an evil um, or ulterior motive, then you're gonna draw right out. You're gonna die out. Whether you're gonna fizzle out through a, a pride, through offense, through just being lukewarm, getting kicked out, you know. And and none of us brothers, you know. Want to be that individual, that that brother that was hot for a season, and then tired out. You know, the the brother that believed, and um, he he ended up stopped believing. So he's just going through the motions of this thing, man. You know, this thing is not about going through the motions. It's about pushing this truth and uh, fighting until the end. You know, this is Isaiah sixty two and one. It says, for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. So this is Isaiah. Isaiah said he's going to stay focused on the path until the kingdom of heaven is erected. And he said that in, in that past lifetime, and he's doing the same thing in this lifetime. What? His actions show. All right? There's over um, the 66 books of Isaiah. And that's the works and the writings of a man that was diligent. He was consistent. You know, the Lord told Isaiah to strip naked and he did so. You know, the Lord told Ezekiel to eat dung. You know? And, and these men did that which was required. But um, verse 2, And the 
Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the the mouth of the Lord shall name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Right. So the the Lord said that He's going to be calling calling us by a new name, you know, which is really a form of respect. All right, and um, tells you in Deuteronomy if, that um, the Lord looked upon the children of Israel and He had respect unto them. And why would the Lord actually? actually show respect unto us because we're focused on the mission and he could look back and see where we came from to see where we're progressing to to push forward to where we're trying to get to all right and that's a respectful thing all right and, and if we do these things what did the lord say he's going to give us planets he said he's going to give us deuteronomy 28 on down the the uh, riches everything that our hearts and our, and our spirits could desire at that time of rest we'll be able to rest we'll be able to chill all right, but right now, we're in the foxholes. Right now, we're in the dirt. We're doing the grunt work. And that's not that's not the funnest of times, man. You know, you don't have fun being in the dirt, being in a ditch, fully uh, you know, focused on, on a mission, not being able to, um, you know, so-called go see your family or spend time with your family how you want to. You live in, um, according to... Um, you know, the standard of, of America, but you, you really can't enjoy yourself, you can't enjoy life, you know, and, and as it is written, this is not our rest, so we have to fight for that rest, all right, and the Lord said that there is a rest wherewith we'll, the Lord will call the cause the weary to rest, matter of fact, I'm going to get that, the Lord will not look it up, because right now, this is not the time to be tired, you know, tiring out, Showing uh demons, scripture says lift up the uh the feeble the feeble hands, man. You know, that that hands in your pocket, um that that tiresome, you know, that I don't want to do it no more mentality, you know. Just push this thing until until the Lord uh, uh delivers us, man. This is Galatians six and nine, I'll just close with this one. It says, and let us not be weary and well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Right, and we're, what are we literally trying to reap? The kingdom of heaven. And, and we're toiling in this work. So he said, the, the apostle Paul said, let us not weary. Don't get tired. The scripture says, um, the Lord said, I ought that all men pray and not to faint. This is not the time to be getting faint. And it says, if you faint in a time of adversity, that means your strength is small. And we want to be strong. We need to gird up as men, stay focused, all right? Stay in the uh, the, the uh, game. Don't sidetrack. Don't get distracted. Don't get. Don't look at the woman in the red dress. To hell with the the uh, scoffers. To hell with everybody in the crowd booing you. Uh, speaking negatively, saying you're gonna lose, you're gonna fall off, this and that. You know you push until the end. All right. So with that, just wanted to push this as a motivation. But brothers in the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shama ended by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemal Shabash Shemrakadash. The bonus of the pastor and elders a great millstone. Shalom on Makim.